Well, it's a great question. I feel, I felt like Nico needed some type of, you know, like parental person in her life that really was there for her as well. Mm -hmm. And, and Carly's always been like that. You know, she's, she's a little bit hippie. She's not like Nico's parents. So she was almost kind of dismissed by them, but she'd always have been somebody that Nico could go to when she felt like she needed it, you know, to talk or, you know, to tell her about something going on in her life. Um, so she becomes that even more. And Aunt Carly's really the one who's like, do everything on your bucket list, like go out there, you know, and, and, you know, Nico wants to go surfing. She wants to go on a hike. She's never kissed a boy really before, like all of these big things she's kind of, you know, and the number one thing, obviously, you know, to become a singer, which is like her passion. That's her passion. And yeah. to me, um, Kurt Cobain too. Yes, of course. Yeah. Kurt Cobain is her absolute idol. Um, and part of the runaway in her mind is like, maybe I'll go to Seattle and run into Kurt Cobain and he'll make me a singer. Um, you know, even though, even though that's crazy, I think she almost believed that that was a possibility. Yeah. How, like what, what gave you the idea for the bucket list? Like, how did you come up with that? Like, was it based of like stuff that like you want to do, like go see the stars. Yeah. 